Hey guys, B Snappy here, and today you're going to see a fighter jet engine on a boat. <laughs> Video, you're going to see the world's fastest boat on this river. This is going to be amazing. Just arrived on the back of the car trailer. This is the Spirit of Australia 2. Look at the tail fin, it looks exactly like a private jet. This is like the support trailer, they'll have all their spares in here and everything. Also, the world's fastest team on water. This is going to be mad. Fighter jet engine. And this is the other support trailer. It has a generator, batteries, and the main thing a team needs, chocolate wafer sticks. <laughs> guys, look, we even get a look inside the cockpit. I'm going inside the cockpit. <laughs> And how do you start the boat? Okay, so it's uh, very, very simple. You've got the main, which is the uh, powers on the electrics. Yep. Okay, then you've got start, which will turn the starter motor over. Oh, yeah. And then you, well, you obviously have to put the fuel on as well. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, then it goes for ignition. And then when you, when you hear it start up, you'll hear this ticking noise, which is all the igniters going. Um, and then it'll just start running. Very, very simple. And I hope they don't forget to put the plugs in. <laughs> Guys, guess what? I'm about to interview the world's oldest flying fighter pilot. He retired at 66 years old. He flew F-18s, Mirage. He's gonna tell us about the rudder system on this boat. I'm with Phil right now, and Phil is a real fighter pilot, and he's a part of the crew. He's going to tell us about the cable on the rudder system. Yeah, okay, so uh, this uh, cabling here is uh, directly connected to the steering wheel in the cockpit. Uh, this cable is from aircraft control cables. Uh, we had boat cables in there before, but um, they weren't good enough, they were stretching all the time. So. We needed a cable that once it was tensioned, held its tension. So is it different to stainless steel? Or? It's um, got a uh, metal uh, core in the middle of it and then it's got the wire wrapping around the outside of it so that it doesn't uh, doesn't stretch and doesn't yeah, lose its that's, tension. That's very interesting. That sounds a lot stronger than like normal cables. Yes, it is, yeah. You know, being aircraft cable, it's got to have a certain safety uh, requirements uh, for not stretching, yeah. etc. and that's what it's all about. Yeah. And can you tell us anything about the aerodynamics of the rudder? Or like uh, well, the rudder is uh, a specific design now. Um, it's got a wedge in the front of it, and uh, the idea of the rudder is to create uh, a fair amount of drag. So we've calculated that it, it's uh, a, just over a ton of drag when the boat's doing about 200 oh. kilometres an hour. Oh, yeah. um, so we've had this is the sixth design rudder. Uh, this is number six and it's a deeper rudder uh, than the previous rudders to give us more control. So you're not worried about more drag or anything? No, the uh, engine produces 5,000 pounds of thrust and wow. the, um, the boat only weighs about 4,000 pounds. So oh, it's wow. got a pa so better hot. power to weight ratio than an F-18 Hornet. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Thanks for the info and we'll look forward to seeing this boat race. Yeah, you're very welcome mate, good yeah, on you. Thank you. And they've even made a mini model of this boat with a real jet engine in it. So they're going to fire up the engine before they put it in the water, just to make sure it's running spot on. It's about to get loud. When they fire it up first, you're gonna hear a whining noise, then you're gonna hear a tick, 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 which is the igniters, and then you're gonna hear a big I'm with Dave. 
Dave Warby, the pilot of this boat. Okay, Dave, so this is a fighter jet engine on a boat. What's the difference? Uh, well, it's, I see it as um, a, a better way of going faster. You've, you've got a jet engine out of a fighter aircraft, and uh, that's the way to go extremely fast. So yeah. it's uh, better than the outboard or, an, or a regular ski boat engine. Any shop I've been in, I've never seen a fire jet engine for sale. Where'd you get this one? Uh, you can't buy them at Bunnings. <laughs> um, so I, I got this one uh, through, most of the, we get them through um, scrapyard, like aircraft surplus or scrapyards. Oh, yeah. So we got these ones out of Italy. Uh, oh, yeah. They still had um, what they call uh, airtime on them, so they could still be flown in an aircraft. So yeah, you've got to hunt around for the right engine and uh, I'm just glad we've got a, a good one and we've got a spare one ready to go. Yeah, wow. So, so what fire jet did this engine come off? So this came out of an Italian jet, jet fighter called a Fiat Gina G91. Okay. So it's, it's very similar to a Sabre jet which the Australian Air Force had. So are you a pilot or a skipper when you drive this boat? Uh, I think a skipper has a sail on his boat so I think having a jet engine I, I think I'm a pilot of the boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you are too. Yeah. <laughs> so what sort of fuel do you use and how much does this engine use? Uh, we use kerosene, Jet A1, so what you yeah. use in uh, you know, an uh, Airbus or a uh, Boeing aircraft, uh, oh, it's the yeah. same type of fuel. Uh, and we use probably in about four kilometres, no sorry, five kilometres under power and then to accelerate and we probably use about 250 litres. Oh wow, that's a whole lot yeah, of Yeah, I know, fuel. it's not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, can we talk about the worst case scenario if okay. like, there's a crash or something and you're in that cab, what happens? Well, uh, well, I don't think it'd end nicely to be honest, yeah. um, but it's got a safety capsule in it, it's a um, carbon Kevlar capsule. My, yep. my father run the, run the world water speed record, he didn't have any seatbelts in his boat, didn't oh, have a capsule. What? So a lot more safety in this boat now, so uh, the safest thing you can do is understand what you're driving and, and, and um, know what you're driving. Speaking of your dad, in the 1970s, your dad broke the record. When do you think you'll break the record? I was about your age when my father broke the world water speed record, so uh, I've watched it my whole life, uh, gone through it. Uh, I, I would, it's a hard thing to say when you break it. You don't want to put too much pressure on yourself or the team, and you've got to listen to the boat. And when the boat's ready to go, and feels right, you keep kicking on with power. Yeah. So, I'd like to think soon. Okay, Dave, good luck, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing scream down the river. Ah, uh, good on you, mate. Thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Guys, look, here's the crane. The crane is about to crane the boat into the water. It's perfect condition for racing. Motorsports racing team for letting me go in the cockpit and make sure you check out their merchandise and like and subscribe for my next video. Be snappy out!